हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्रेश इंजीनियर्स आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद दे आर नॉट एबल टू डिसाइड व्हाट लैंग्वेज शुड दे लर्न शुड दे लर्न वेरी लॉग और शुड दे लर्न वी ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द फ्रेश इंजीनियर्स आर कन्फ्यूज एंड दे डोंट हैव एनी कॉन्क्रीट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन वेन एवर दे डिस्कस इट विद इंडस्ट्री पीपल समन से इन माई कंपनी वी आर यूजिंग वी and some of them say we are using very log so learn very log but they don't have any concrete answer to this question but today we are going to discuss it in detail which language you should learn maybe my video will be able to help you to decide which language you should choose going further in your career friends now without wasting much time let us come to the point and see what language should i learn very log or vhdl both the languages are hardware description languages that means both the languages have relevant syntaxes to define our hardware then how should i choose what language should i learn while going deep into the discussion we will keep two points in our mind the first point is its demand whether its demand is up trending or down trending whether number of users are increasing or decreasing and the second important point is its syntax its syntax should be very flexible so that our complex codes can be defined in a very simple form so we'll keep these two points in our mind while discussing which language should we choose friends now i'm going to share with you some facts and surveys conducted by mentor graphics or siemens and those surveys will tell us the active number of users of each language and from there only we will come to know about its trends whether verilog has a trend or vhdl has a trend friends the first survey is on your screen which is related to asic design language and it is very clear that verilog has more number of active users as compared to vhdl and this is the graph for system verilog the first bar is 2012 second is 2016 third one is year 2020 and this blue one is year 2021 you see active vhdl users are reducing similarly if you see very log very log also showing the downtrend but very important point this system very log which is add on to the very log language which is superset of this very log language has a exponential upward trend from here anyone can deduce that why to learn vhdl why to learn very log let us directly go to system very log but personally i will not recommend that because system very log is a very advanced version of the language which has very advanced syntaxes which may not be required at the fresh level so for a fresh engineer i will recommend to learn very log first and the more important point is all the very log syntaxes are included in system very log as well so if you study very log first that is not a waste all the syntaxes are going to be used in system very log and once you learnt very log language and then you start system very log you will better appreciate all the add ons features in system very log now let us see some other surveys conducted by the same company siemens or mentor graphics so the second survey is about fpj design language and from this survey it is very clear that vhdl has more number of users as compared to very log language but if we see the trend vhdl has exponentially falling trend but where very log is gaining its active number of users the first bar represents year 2012 and the third bar represent year 2020 and the fourth bar represent year 2021 so if we see the current year that means vhdl and very log active users are almost same but now let us see the system very log system very log is always in a upward trend in fpj design language also system very log has its own demand friends my perception will again remain same for the fresh engineers instead of going directly to system very log let us learn very log first because learning very log is not a waste all the syntax is included in very log are also contained in system very log and once you learn very log 
you will better appreciate all the add-on features in system very log friends i have one more survey for you that is connected by the same company siemens or mentor graphics here they have not decided on the basis of ASIC language or FPJ language but these graphs are on the basis of active users of each language. If you see the VHDL language, VHDL is exponentially decreasing. That means number of active users are exponentially decreasing. For Verilog also we see that some of the users are reducing because number of users in system Verilog are increasing. But again my perception will remain same. Fresh engineers can learn Verilog first and then can jump into system Verilog. From these surveys, you can very easily deduce that which language you should learn. And with this, I'm going to end this video. And I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And it will really help you to choose the language of your choice. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it. And press the bell icon to get a notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.